just missed is instead of putting stuffing inside the turkey, where most experts say that if you cook the turkey long enough to have the stuffing be cooked, then it dries out the turkey. So I'm trying to end up with a moist, tasty turkey. So many of the experts talk about putting different things into the turkey for cooking to enhance flavor and moisture. Okay, we're back. So now we did is we just put softened butter. I left it out overnight, so it's very soft. And we're putting in garlic um, and parsley and sage and rosemary. And uh, I put a little cilantro in and thyme and chopped it all up into fine pieces along with my garlic. And we're gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna mix it all the way around with the butter so it all gets together. And now we're gonna layer it in the turkey underneath the skin and on top of the skin both. Okay, so now we put the butter and the spices underneath the skin. And because I did tear some of the skin, I am using toothpicks to hold it in place because that is what protects the bird from actually getting dried out. And now my son Aaron is cutting me a piece of string so I can tie up the legs. <laughs> And then, we're, then we're, our turkey is ready. If you look in the bottom, you can see what it's stuffed with some onion, lemon, some apple, some orange, a little garlic, and spreading it around. And then when I'm gonna cook it, we'll see, that, we'll see in a little while when I cook it, I'm actually gonna turn it upside down. So we're not really getting a good spread here. As you can see, it's kind of like sticking in clumps. So I'll have to learn to do it a little better next time. Maybe oh make it more liquefied. I think you're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you. The key thing I'm doing is I'm cooking the turkey upside down. And that allows the juices of the turkey to go into the white meat and have gravity work for me. Many people say it's the opposite. Well, we'll find out. Maybe next year I'll switch it. So for right now, I put, in addition to turkey, I put in the bottom of the pan, I put slices of orange, lime, and lemon. And I put some apple cider, just a little coat, just to add some moisture. And now I'm going to take the turkey, which is the head you saw before. And I'm going to turn it upside down and cook it upside down. There we go. And that is the turkey. Now it said I should put the wings. It said I should take the wings and tuck them inside so they don't get burned. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take a little part of the wing and tuck it inside, inside a big piece. And here it is, that's the turkey. And we're gonna pop it in there. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's not, make sure your pan is not touching the wall of the oven. And there we go. And I will, I'm not even putting on a timer because the timer is not the key. The timer is, the time is just a clue of when to check the temperature of the bird. They say 13 to 14 minutes per pound. And because we brined it, it might cook more quickly. So I'll start checking it at two and a half hours. So that is now 132, 34. We'll start checking it at 345. We're going to check it. And we'll see you then. We're going to take the temperature one more time. See how we're doing. It's not quite golden brown because it cooked on the other side most of the time but it's okay. And we're gonna find the spot that goes deep into the meat and not touch the bone. You get the bone, it gives you a false reason. That's perfect. Oh, it's hitting 160. Is it gonna to go to 165? It needs a few more minutes. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna take the temperature again, and hopefully this time we hit 165. He is hitting 165 everywhere, both sides. Okay, 165, there it is. Let's go to the other side. The last time, we had 165 on one side and 160 on the other side. The oven might have different temperatures on each side. A little bit warmer in one spot than the next. 170. Wow. We're ready. We're ready. Oh my God. That's it, 165 Hallelujah. and 170, we're ready. Now we're gonna take it out and it's going to sit. Okay. For 20 minutes while it settles before we cut it. And while that is happening, we are gonna get everything else ready. So here is our bird. And yes, we're not pleased totally with the golden, the golden brown top, we're definitely not pleased. But if, I think if the inside is really tasty, then it's a good sacrifice. And next year, maybe I'll make it 
more golden on the top. You did a great job. Now, Coach, yeah. now we're going to get everything ready. All the sides are ready to be put in the oven. They're down here. You know, all these are side dishes. They're all ready to go in the oven and be hot. The gravy, both gravy for the mashed potatoes and the turkey are here ready to warm up with ladles. And here's the soup. Already starting to get warm. And there you have it. A Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, and the biscuits. And the biscuits are going in at the same time, too. Nice. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful to have my family all together. That we're now at home and all five of us are together to enjoy this holiday. It's something different. COVID has once again changed the perspective for everybody, but we're going to make the best of it. We're going to have our own family gathering. I'm making my first turkey and I'm looking forward to dinner as a family and watching some football as well.